All right, well, I'm going to suggest that you use uh, Pisco to create your animations because it is an animation piece of software. Uh, plus, if you're not um, feeling confident about drawing images, uh, it lets you draw pixelated images, which I kind of like. Um, so they could be bigger images. Um, here's how you change color. All right, um, we have a paint bucket. Oops, paint bucket, control Z if you mess something up, or command Z. Um, there's also this cool mirror tool that lets you do some interesting things. Oh, paint bucket that. Not sure what I'm creating, but the cool thing now is that I can duplicate this frame and then add a little bit more. Um, so with animations, you just want to make little slight changes. Um, so maybe what my change is here is even just a color. Oops, I'm not very different color. Um, or maybe I need to add a little bit of something um, for whatever it is. Uh, and then you keep building it up. Now, if you decide that you want a finer brush, you can do that on um, Pisco. I'm just going to refresh this. Go away. Um, you can resize. And so right now it's 32 by 32. So if I want a smaller brush, I can experiment with some sizes. That's smaller. Even smaller still. It'll pretty much get to where it's just like a pencil if you go high enough. All right. So you can do more fine things like that. Um, I'm going to show you the animation I had started. So uh, I've got five here. I need six frames per section. So I'm just going to duplicate that. And the thing I wanted to do was fill this all in. OK, now the important part here is uh, when we export. When, if you did it in this mode, which is 32 by 32, this is what the resolution will show here. So you need to change that to at least 600 by 600. It could be even be higher, but it shouldn't be lower. And then you want to make sure that you're selecting a zip so you get all the files. And you'll click download. And um, can I even go here? Yep. Now it shows that I have each of these files um, as a separate file. So that's important. So that's the animation part. Now for the fact part, I suggest using a Google Drawing. So if we go here, I'm going to go to Drawings. And what I like about it is it's got already this transparent background. And then I can just make little signs for my facts. So I'm going to have a fact about erosion. And I need my text. OK. And of course, you want to make it as big as possible. Use a font that you find interesting. Go bigger than that. Oh, yeah, OK. And let's see if I can bold that. And then I actually want to swap colors out here. There. Um, so when I'm done with that, let's call this fact one. Then I'm going to download that. Make sure you download it as a PNG. That way it'll keep its transparent background. And there's my fact one. So now I have my animation images downloaded and my fact one downloaded. Um, so I'll do another video to show you what to do with that.